Okay, so entertain God and your ass will follow. I've been programming when I'm in a programming frame of mind. I'm kind of boring. I wonder if it's like Spock. So it's tempting to imagine something like that. Like, uh, like, uh, highs and lows balance and passion and dispassion balance. I don't know. Seems pretty, pretty, pretty realistic. I wonder if it comes from a study of humans. So, now I'm going to be passionate, huh? Wait. So. You know, it should be possible to reject a theory if it's wrong. So. I don't know. I guess nobody's made that theory and published it, but they keep something like that secret, you know? It's kind of a trip. You know, sometimes uh, the fictional universe of everybody is surprisingly uh, follows the rules. Um, makes you wonder if uh, you know like I kind of uh, well Chuck Swindoll says God has a way of balancing the good with the bad so pretty much everybody figures that out huh Like uh, when they do a fictional story, it usually has justice and does it? What about Chinese? You think Chinese stories don't have justice? And Negro stories don't have like German stories. I don't know. You think they ever do that shit? Like it's just flat out. The strong dominate. So, Mr. God, Mr. Terry's gonna pick a passage and this one. Amazing Grace. Fix your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Imagine coming to the house of a friend who has invited you over to enjoy a meal. You finish the delicious meal and then listen to some fine music and visit comes and visit for a while. Finally, you stand up to get your coat as you prepare to leave. But before you leave, you reach into your pocket and say, "Now, how much do I owe you?" What an insult! You don't you don't do that with someone who has graciously given you a meal. Strange, isn't it? Isn't it strange though? How this world is running over with people who think they're something. They must do to pay God back. Somehow they are hoping God will smile on them if they work real hard and earn His acceptance. But that's an acceptance on the basis of works. It's not the way it is with grace. God smiles on us because of His Son's death and resurrection. It's grace, my friend, amazing grace. Okay, well, what? So we're talking about different uh, mindsets. Jews and Christians have kind of a different outlook. But, uh, and then there's the outlook of the universe. God seems to want fair exchange. <laughs> 